everybody at from time to time wants to blame someone else for your problems. But if you do that, then you're just a victim and you lose control of whatever it is you're blaming someone else for. But if you take ownership of it, then you can control it, at least in some way. And that's honestly what a lot of what an agency does, right? So we get fired by clients all the time, right? We get fired for doing our job. They don't want to pay the commission anymore because we do our job so well. We get fired Mm -hmm. by clients because they take it in-house. We get fired by clients because they need somebody to blame, whatever it might be. There's like 20 reasons why an agency could get fired. And, And that's like agencies have to be built and prepared to handle that as well. One of the positions I've taken as an agency is like, try and never lose a customer. Even if they're not a perfect fit, we'll take them on and we'll do parts of the business or we'll have an a la carte option or there'll be things that they keep after they exit that, you know, but they'll stop the core part of the service. But agencies are, are structurally built in a way that like you have to be ready to shovel manure every single day. Like, and, and there's money in shoveling manure. Don't get me wrong. Like, but at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's a stinky, dirty job sometimes, and you got to be prepared to do it. Yeah, absolutely. Especially in the, in the Amazon world, when there's so many things that you can't control when it comes to Amazon, right? You know, with the brand registry and listings being taken down and just today, a whole bunch of variations, people are talking about variations being taken down randomly because Amazon doesn't like however you set up your variation. There's just always going to be problems to be fixed. But then at the same time, when you're shoveling that shit, as you mentioned, there's money to be made. People are going to be willing to pay you for that, right? Very much so. Uh, and speaking of variation theme breakages and parentage breakages, I had I had somebody email me this morning about just that. Like So like every single day we see something with Amazon breaking down, it's not passive income to sell on Amazon, despite what you might see on YouTube from a couple of gurus here and there. It's very yeah. difficult work, very difficult. There's so many things you have to know and how to do. And if you don't know how to do them, you're prone to make mistakes. You're, you're going to be paying your tax, so to speak. Yeah. There's, there's no four-year degree in selling on Amazon unless you go spend four years selling on Amazon, right? So it's, it's, there's nothing you can do to prepare for some of these situations uh, other than become a stoic monk in some ways. Like, okay, I, I, I accept this. I'll, I'll deal with it. PPC costs went up 25%. All right. All right. I, I, I can manage that. You know, um, Amazon yanked my catalog. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let me, let me, let me deal with that. But in my particular case with the age of sage account, it got too much. I was like, I, I'm no longer able to be stoic. I, I can't handle this. Uh, the hot was, the fire is too hot. The kitchen is too hot. I got to get out. <laughs> yeah. 